Yes. Here we go, Murph. This is Let's do it. This is great. This is fun. Right? Aren't you supposed to introduce our podcast thing? Every time you freaking tell me to do that. <laughs> I thought, that's not how they all start? I don't really know. I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to liven up the audience here. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you can live it up with like a really boisterous introduction like and now it's Maple Glaze. <laughs> Coming starring. from the bedroom <laughs> of Glaze. I like the starting of a porno when you say it like that. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm half Canadian. He's all American. Ooh. The two dynamic. <laughs> I was going good there. And then I totally lost my train of thought. The only time I'm ever going to yeah. be all American in anything. Uh, there Here we go. go. <laughs> got oh, gosh. Here we go. All Welcome right. to a third episode of Maple Glaze. Ow. I am Zach. Yes. That's Murph. I am Murph. Okay. With the sore thigh. <laughs> <laughs> At least a sore eye. That's definitely a thigh slapper of an introduction. Bam. Let's go. <laughs> As we are doing this podcast, we actually have the Chiefs game on on the yes. side because I got really disgusted. I had to walk away from that team for a couple minutes because I, I can't watch them. I believe they- that's the number one rule of podcasting is do it when you're angry. And there's something else that you want to be doing. <laughs> I, I'd rather be doing anything else but watch this crap. <laughs> right? I am done. Yeah. First Newcastle, now the Chiefs. Just, oh uh, just oh, oh, I mean, the Chiefs are winning, but it's pretty at much least, an 0 and 2 day for Zach. At right least, now. at least Newcastle expected. The Chiefs are like, all right, this is yeah, defense. No, right? It's Ugh. killing my fantasy football right now. <laughs> oh, uh, I am happy you guys decided to tune in. That's right. There's major life decisions. You guys decided to do anything else but to listen to us. Correct. Bicker and yell, not so much yelling, more just. No, we don't yell. No. We're, we're, we're it's a very um, what's the what's, what, it's a very progressive mental discussion. degradation. Yeah, that's a other. very pro- progressive <laughs> discussion. You know, it's like, ooh, progressive. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, moving, you know, yeah, moving exactly. Forward, yeah, like you it. make fun of me. I die internally. I say some comments. People laugh, and we move on. That's Let, how our let's friendship be fair. works. You you hold it on, and then by like 10, 15 minutes later, then you come back. And exactly. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, that's how that's how it all works. That's, yeah how the world wars are started you, know, you just hang on to something <laughs> he's not paying attention exactly attack. yeah you know <laughs> just hang on to it barely until your deathbed and then you know that's when you <laughs> proclaim all your anger and how you're all the friendships you've broken because of it wow, that's how it works really every time serious really fast we talked about man canadian bridges man just let it just, you know just let them fall out <laughs> <laughs> blow it up eh it, oh, no, we don't blow it up. Just again, you just stop taking care of it and just let it, you know, just let it, <laughs> let it die out. It just, it just so, yeah, you know. Who said that? Was that was somebody? I thought that was me. Was it you? Yeah. Oh, I thought I saw that on TV or something. I oh, think maybe. it was you. Oh, okay. probably. I think it was. <laughs> you know, get, give Murph the credit. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, well, um, I mean, we could probably research it, but we're not going to. We're just. No, I'm just gonna no. take. Cl- I mean, yes, we, we the, do have the capacity, but we yeah. won't. It's like the American and partially Canadian way. We just take it for ourselves and say we did it, and probably was made in Europe. But you know, whatever. <laughs> There's always something to do here. There's always something to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if you guys have not yet, make sure you guys you know follow the podcast, uh, mm-hmm. give it a review. Yep. You know, let this this podcast get some legs, if you will, and, and hopefully, right. all the other um, angry. Americans we try slash. not to skip leg day on this podcast, but sometimes it happens. It happens. You it know? happens. Our thighs get sore and we can't do it. We just go for show. For show. No, lift for show. Not for, for, for show. I don't know. Yeah, not for overall health. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that again. Um, <laughs> <You got it. laughs> we're off to a hot start. All right. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. If they're not reeled in, I just reeled them in. There we are. <laughs> they're in. You reel them in and you realize I didn't put any bait here. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> Do not know why the third time around you still have not given me a script. I'm just so random, going no, everywhere. Who needs a script? <laughs> we just, I mean, you know, you, I, I I try to have like one or two subjects. Like, there okay, go. we're gonna hit this. Yep, and that's that's it. Do we actually ever hit them? I don't. I don't even think you really tell me what subjects we're gonna hit. You're no, just like, there's uh, some questions some people have asked we want to talk about, and that's really about it. We just go off. <laughs> you, know, like, you know what surprise? Murph, you. go. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Uh, sea horses. Yeah, right. What They're weird. Randomly? Yeah. What can I? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you? Well, they are weird. And we're gonna get on that subject now. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. No, you goofy idiot. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Uh, <laughs> um, uh. but no. Uh, actually, I want to start off with. Um, oh, we had a couple we of questions. With something. All right. We we. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try to be better with this, but we do have a couple of questions. We kind of get a, every single uh, podcast. Um. Uh, if it's a feet thing, I'm gonna flip out. Murph, Murph loves feet. I do not. <laughs> Send in your feet pictures. 
<laughs> Please do not send those into me. I don't want to see them. Oh, the one comment that just stuck, like sticks with us. It happened when yeah, I was in seriously. Germany. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, all right, Mojo. I, I know I've been kind of slow at getting. He's, I think he might be our number one fan. He is. Or she? I don't know. I don't. I don't he. Know. Oh, he. Okay. Cool. He's a. He's a. He's a man made of denim. Oh. Is he? He is. <laughs> well, don't get wet then. It'll, it'll just lose <laughs> just, all sort of shape. <laughs> Might shrink a little. Just imagine Kurt Russell. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh, uh, this actually, I guess for for me. Okay. Uh, Good. For future oh, podcasts. Thank the Lord. I know. Give Murph a break. Well, <laughs> why don't you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> His brain hurts. Leave yeah, him alone. Exactly. Uh, for a future podcast, I really appreciate your honest evaluation of the strengths and weaknesses of the Schwabish Hall Unicorns defense in the 2021 season. Oh my God. Would you please give us your views on how you feel they can improve? There you go, buddy. Wow. Yeah. That's like all that's basically all my fan base now. Just right? like I feel like I could probably just sit out on this podcast. You just do the whole thing because I feel <clears> like you're <throat> gonna take a whole hour just to talk about that. No, no. I I will tell Especially you. after watching Kansas City and Newcastle today. Oh my god. Listen, I was doing a I was getting paid to do some videos for a local business and then I get back and I see that crap. I'm done. Yep. I'm yep. done. Um so Mojo, I actually I got a couple of things because I I did watch Schwabish Hall a little bit. Uh, I should watch the good chunk of the championship game too, and not surprised they lost. And I will be honest, why? First and foremost, this is not you a, being honest. No, I, I, that's all I know. Leave oh my gosh, <laughs> who are you? What has this podcast um, done to you? <laughs> You've changed, man. Yeah, this is a third like, episode. I don't like where you're going. <laughs> this is a third episode. The money's changed you. <laughs> What money? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're not sponsored by Tim Hortons. Right. We're just drinking seltzer. I'm working on that. But it's we'll basically see. water. It is. Give a man some room. It's <laughs> Some Rome? What? Some Rome. Oh, uh, like Rome. We're going to we're going to Italy now? <laughs> we're going to Rome. No, I said give okay, me some rum. Oh, rum, gotcha. Okay. Yar. Yar. Oh damn it. Uh, Yar, give me some rum. Oh gosh. It's like back to the first episode. All, All right. right. Yeah, you're uh, a pain in my yars. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough puns for All me. right. No, no, we're not done with those, but continue on. Oh, uh, pun damn. We just broke it. Mm-hmm. No, it's cracked. <laughs> cracked a little bit. Right. Um so Schwabish Hall, this is gonna, uh, this might kind of give you guys a little bit of a, uh, I guess a uh, reality check in, a, in sorts. So, as you guys know, uh, you know, don't take it serious. Don't run to Nick and be like, "Well, Zach said this, and he doesn't like you." It's like, <laughs> but um, he doesn't. But this is a completely different. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> it's a completely different issue. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's not because he doesn't like you. It's just he doesn't like you, but. I just hate his face. <laughs> God, I hate it. Um, so I would actually say Schwabish Hall as as a whole is ran very, very well. It's a great organization, great team. Despite not being in the Elf League, they they still can hold their own in the GFL League, which I think is going to be kind of um, hammered for the last – actually, gonna, it's going to be on a downturn for the next couple of years, I think, because of Elf, um, especially with the additions of – Elf the movie? The, the league. Oh, Murph, the okay. league. I'll okay. keep up. All right, I'm trying. <laughs> they have, the, is that they have like, great coffee, though. Is that like their <laughs> NFL? I don't know what, what is that. Uh, it's the new NFL Europe. Okay. So basically what they're – now, they, they just – they announced this week uh, they added another team. It's going to be in Istanbul, Tur- Istanbul, Turkey. Okay. Which I kind of figure because they – at the Elf Championship, they invited Valgun, who is the – he's been the head coach overseas forever. Gotcha. Um, so I'm kind of not surprised there, but uh, Swedish Hall for as a whole, they're they're a good team, uh, well coached by Coach Newman. But I'll be honest, defensively, um, they need Zach Slusky. <laughs> trust me, I don't think they can handle me. Okay, they, send, they would send me home after a couple games. Like you're you're too honest. Okay, the guys don't like you, even though the guys do like me. And then it'd be like the the board be like, well, we we just don't like you. That's fair. You're too. You're just too understanding. I don't even know I if I like. It. I don't even know if I like you sometimes. But yeah, 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 <laughs> Get in line, bro. Yeah, it's okay. Go, <laughs> um, we'll start uh, a separate podcast. <laughs> separate. <laughs> very special, but podcast. it's equal, but separate. Very All special. Right, America joke. <laughs> um, it's like, oh, you doing a podcast? Oh, we'll be back here. Yeah, in the back end of the room in this podcast. Uh, so, Spavis Hall. I think the one thing I did not like uh, that they were starting to do. They were running more of a three man front. 
and they basically were telling Dresden, "Hey, come, come, you know, hit us. Let's run the ball. We dare you, or you know, try to try the deep ball." They honestly, it's some of the stuff I saw. They were not maining their gaps properly. They were not holding their own. It just they're essentially if you're running a three man front against a team that likes to run it or it's they're more pro style, they're you're gonna have issues all day long. So that's kind of the issue they were having. Now Nick Alfieri is a very good leader. Uh he has don't don't yell at me. He has lost a bit of a step. If uh if, if you had a watch How the- dare you? He is number one in my <laughs> fantasy. How dare you do that my my overseas my fantasy elf, yeah, in my elf fantasy league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would not be surprised if they try to do that crap. <laughs> we are oh god. Oh, uh, we we have Rosaw Panthers talk defense. About, oh well, boy. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Um <laughs> uh, what is this? Jim Rome is burning all of a sudden now? Or you're just gonna, oh, god, you're like no. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like it is, because you know, Nick is still like he's a very smart, intuitive. I'm just about to finish his beer. I'm just so shocked by that <laughs> statement right there. <laughs> I'm gonna drink this water. Um Nick, honestly, he's a very intuitive, smart linebacker. Um, physically, you could tell he's probably lost a step a little bit, but, uh, the thing you can easily combat that though, overseas, basically you just get yourself a big old nose tackle. All right. You can do run some slants, run a base four, three, and then have that nose tackle eat up some blocks in the middle. Let Nick kind of, you know, get all the communications in, all the adjustments and you'll, and you'll be fine. That's basically all you need to do. Um, the thing that I saw during the championship game is like, they were sitting back a little too much allowing a lot of the intermediate routes to happen. Um, and basically the Dresden Monarchs were kind of trying to hit these long, long, deep routes so they could try to um, force Swabish hold back and then they would just go back to the running game. All you got to do, all right, you keep two deep safeties, all right, and then you just you kind of make sure your, your front seven just to whatever front that, that the offense is basically trying to achieve. And you basically you just combat that. That's all you need. Um, keep everything in front of you. All right, allow the allow the short routes. Protect yourself against the deep routes, intermediates. You're fine. Now they have a lot of uh, guys, uh, Americans who are older, um, which they'll have to adapt to. I know Cody uh, Pastorino. I think he, from what I hear, he might be done this year. We'll see. But uh, well, I I think they'll be fine. Uh, they they recruited a couple of the guys that I coached at Paderborn. There you so go. Uh, that should tell you everything. <laughs> and yet you still hate them. So weird. I don't. I don't hate. We've em. just lost some subscribers now. Wait again. Probably. I don't know. Should have kissed their ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. I can't, Murph. I I won't sleep all night. Well, I, I guess all we can say is Schwaben Schwal. Did I say that right? Schwaben Schwal. What? Schwaben, Schwaben, Schwabish Hall. Schwabish Hall. Right? Schwabish Hall. Like a oh, dorm geez, room. And yeah. there you go. A dorm room in college. Uh, Schwabish Hall. <laughs> Balls in your court. Zach gave you all the info you need. Now there you go. Balls in your court. I guarantee you, a lot of you guys will be like, oh, that's wrong. You know what? Fine. I've been doing it long enough. I've you know seen what? it all. We didn't start podcasting to make friends. So, no. You know, that's why we do things. It's not here. a friendly podcast. It is not. This is America versus Canada. Exactly. Well, against mm. Europe. There you all go. in the same conglomeration. Exactly. You know, you subscribe to this. Just remember. <laughs> Still waiting for this. This is what you wanted. Still waiting for a demographic in Canada to be like, hey, 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 hey. But none of that. <laughs> they don't do podcasts up there. It's different. What do they do? Just yelling. Yelling at the buildings. <laughs> yelling, yelling at the signs exactly. of buildings. Yeah, and like, it's just, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of old school ways. A lot of old school stuff. <laughs> yeah. This podcast is not yeah. is banned smoke, in Canada. Smoke signals, you know, just <laughs> Morse code, all that stuff. Morse. Yeah. I should just let you go for like 10 minutes just to name off that stuff. Just like, name off all that stuff? <laughs> yeah. Morse code. Morse code, yeah. Um, uh, carrier pigeon. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's that's stuff. That's stuff another the Or uh, we have carrier moose. Ooh. No, they're a little tough to tame. Oh, that's yeah, true. It's true. No, and that's not, I mean, yeah. Or have, maybe a Mountie just carries it over the border, says, how you doing, and then goes back. How you doing? What are they, Jersey or something? <laughs> Northern borders. <laughs> New York. <laughs> I was going to say, what? Hey, how you doing? How, how you doing? doing? I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Sorry, I'm been just on the Sopranos kick lately. Leave ah, me alone. That's fair. Okay. Um, cool. Well, there, there you go. go. Yeah. Answer that question. <laughs> Long-winded. Yeah. <laughs> what? Ask him a tough question. It's like you had that one queued up. No, I didn't. I didn't have that. Fifteen minutes. I know, dude. You talk forever. God. Yeah. 
I never well, say what anything. Do I do now? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you talk too damn much. It's true. <laughs> oh, man. Does Murph know about Mojo or does he know about the Mojo? I, I think he knows about you, Mojo. That's that's your second part question. There you go. There's multiple Mojos? Odessa Permian, Friday Night Lights. Ah. Mojo Magic. How about him? <laughs> okay. But uh, also, Mojo did not like the uh, soccer stuff that we talked about. Why not? I mean, people don't like soccer, I guess. I guess. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, Lupus. Haven't seen you in a, in a minute. No, Murph, you're you're wrong. Uh, Canadian Thanksgiving having no historical roots. The first Thanksgiving in Canada actually predates ours by some 40 years. Okay. Uh, Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, you could go, you could Google it and figure that crap out, but literally, I every Canadian I talk to could not tell me why they do it. They literally just do it. That's just how Canada. Trudeau told me to, so that, we're gonna that do it. That is just how Canada does it. Yeah, I don't really it's know. Like, okay. like <laughs> seriously. Well, that's that's new. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I like it. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's, oh man, you gotta remember that now. It's it's sad when I know more stuff about Canadian history than my parents do that grew up there and went to school there. But it is weird, All right? Hey. Murph only half cares. Yeah. The other half's like, all right, do what we want. <laughs> other half says it's just America's top hat. <laughs> America's top hat. <laughs> That's what everyone calls it. America's oh, top hat. Man. I thought Minnesota was a top hat. I guess not. So it's part of America. So of course it's not a top hat. America. There we go. Oh, oh that was, man. That was stupid. No. What are you saluting? I'm, the Chiefs winning. Gotcha. Right now. That's what we're saluting. That's what we're saluting. <laughs> <laughs> up by 11 all right so actually i went to uh to uh show you guys how much i, I kind of miss coaching football right now i end up going to a local high school game on, oh don't even on friday are you about to tell this thomas worthington story yes helping you through street cred with your oh. podcast listeners no street cred all street cred all right continue oh <laughs> thank you yeah um no so before I went overseas, actually, I, I coached about two years of high school football here in the state of Ohio. If you guys don't know, like Ohio football is, is high, high school football is probably it's big. It's it is. It's uh, probably considered the best in the nation. I, I'd say. Really? Not Florida. Florida talent level. Ah, yeah. Fair. Okay. Um, yes. It's a mixture. Like, there's just so much coaching talent. Yeah. In this state, and I mean, it just yeah. We got the football hall of fame, so yeah, it's like which, it's just wild to see like. If you guys look at like NFL, how many like assistant coaches or head coaches came yeah. from Ohio? It just it's staggering. It's, it's crazy every single year. So, and I'm going to the game. I just realized just like how much, I guess, s- simplified. I guess you could say, maybe just Columbus. I don't know how much simplified like the game is here as opposed to if you go overseas. Like, it's just overseas reminds me so much of Cincinnati football because it's like you have to game plan against multiple different looks and fronts, and you're like, what the hell? It, it just it made me realize like man i missed this it's great well you didn't coach high school football in europe so i don't think you can compare you coached pro football in europe so yeah. that's different well i mean some of these guys it's kind of you compare it to, depending on what level you're at you can kind of compare it to i guess i don't know low low college football i guess okay. NAIA, maybe maybe uh mac yeah okay. mac ish that's fair yeah, okay. depending on what country. Now, if it's GFL, like German league, it's GFL one or two. Probably, I would say Division two, one double A, just because the talent's there. Okay, but, there you go. But then Elf is like, you know, CFL. I'd say. Okay, but there you go. There you go. Canadian, nice. Thank Canadian. You. Thank you for referencing that. Boom, got got that connection. There you go. Perfect. Well, now we're done. That's it. We just need to make that connection somewhere. Exactly. I am forever done this podcast now. There we go. <laughs> Look, Canada's all around you. There we go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just they do it quietly and sneakily, so you don't realize it. Next thing you know, you wake up one morning, you're like, "Holy crap!" There's a lot of Canadian influence around me right now. Just remember the the Canadian Bridge analogy. There exactly. you go. Exactly. We don't just you know just let it let it rot. Let it rot. I just let it go. Nature take a course. <laughs> then one day it just falls on itself. Exactly. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh God. A condemned bridge or building, just let it go. Nature oh, will take it back. Oh Murphy, you want to tell them how you got uh, drunk at a at a apple apple orchard i didn't get drunk but yeah i got feeling pretty good yeah <laughs> yeah i mean obviously it's everyone... supposed to be a wonderful day <laughs> and you decided to you know crush all these apples right. with your armpits and no. what the heck are you talking about you gotta pay extra for that no. 
<laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> yeah, I don't really know how else to explain it. Just small town uh, outside of Dayton, which is I always get it wrong. Is it southeast Ohio, southwest, west? It was in Dayton? What it was in Dayton? It's outside Dayton. Yeah, hour and a half drive. Oh, hour and a half. So it's probably yeah. the west side. Yeah. So yeah. So it was really cool. Apple orchard. The weird part was though, you don't pick the apples off the tree. They were like already picked off. They just put them in like a. It's, it's they, the millennial orchard. Right? Seriously, Here. yeah, exactly. They just put them in like a, I don't know, like a big basket, and then you just be like, "Here's the type of apples we have," and you just picked as many you want, like a grocery store, pretty much. Wow. Yeah, and then of course the lines were stupid long, but they had these all this awesome like fall stuff, apple cider, all this stuff. Um, I'm a huge bourbon fan, so I know Zach kind of is, though we don't drink a lot of bourbon, but. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm a huge bourbon dark fan. Dark liquors have kind of been staying away from. It's fair. They're not healthy for you, but uh, I love them. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, but uh, so Woodford um, is one of the best bourbons. Um, really good. And so uh, you could get a apple cider slushy, um, mm. which was awesome. But then they'll put Sounds a little incredible. bit of Woodford in it. So it was amazing. And then they had a Woodford root beer float where they put in Woodford. And then they put in like some sort of like. I think it was like alcoholic root beer and then a um, like a vanilla ice cream schnapps or something. And so it literally, when you drank it, it was like a root beer float with a little bit of bourbon at the end of it. Oh my God. Dude, they were amazing. But yeah, so we just like, and problem, it was like the first, it's like the first day of real fall here now. Like, as you can see, wearing my hoodie, it's like oh, yeah. 60 degrees out, 50 degrees out. Problem is here in Ohio, it gets really windy, which sucks. Yeah. Cause you're like, it's so we were sitting out having fun, but it was like, Really windy and kind of cloudy, so the sun wasn't like helping you stay warm, and then all the wind, and then they were drinking, so it was just like I was gonna go after vlog a while, yesterday too. Like, I was Ugh. like, this weather is like every ten minutes was changing. Yeah, I was like, I can't. That's Ohio. Yeah, yeah. we're literally like, we'll have a nice sunny day like today, but it'll be windy, and the next thing you know, it rains for the next week. Yeah, and it's just it's stupid. Yeah. So it's unfortunate we don't get to enjoy the nice fall days like today very much, and then it's all oh, yeah. gone. It's like it's like uh, low sixties, and it's. Yeah. I don't know. You have the sun out a little bit, so it's a little bit warmer than it is. So it's kind of that mixture. It's right. nice, but um, you just don't get that a whole lot here right. at all. Uh, but what was really cool was there's a town that we drove through it on the way there, Wilmington or something like that. Um, oh yeah. The first or well, second. You were close to Oxford, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Apparently, I didn't know that. But yeah, well, yeah. 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 Wilmington. Yeah. It's like maybe half hour away from Oxford. Yeah. So we were. Um, there we were a week late they had a sauerkraut festival and i was like damn we're gonna have to go try that out sometime what? yeah it was like october 9th or something like october 9th oh, or something and i was damn. like damn damn so i don't know it's like sauerkraut, I didn't see that. Is sauerkraut really big in germany or we just think it's big in germany uh not as big as you think okay that's what i would have thought at least now it might be different in southern germany or eastern germany but like where i was at um, like I said, it's more Americanized. So it's like gotcha. people are like, they want more American Germanized things. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of yeah. a mix. But yeah, I, that's I, like I, up in Canada. They're big on barbecue and you're like, it's Canada. What? You're, guys, don't, guys don't have warm enough weather for barbecue, but they love barbecue up there. So it's just oh, like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. Crazy. Yeah. And, but I mean, I've had like fresh sauerkraut before. And yeah. I know it's really healthy, really it's, good. It's not really basically, they, they call it something else, but it's actually, it's really good. Yeah. In Germany. Nice. Yeah, so anyway, they had the sauerkraut festival. I was like, oh, Damn. me and Zach have to check that out next year. I think I'm they only sad. do it one weekend. Yeah, I'm sad I never saw that on, like, on any list. That, right? Because always, I'm always looking up like different like festivals to go to or different things, and I'm like, Damn. I've never seen Honestly, yeah, it was a really small town. That's why I realized like, as much as it's awkward and it sucks sometimes, Like <laughs> when I was waiting in line to buy, because my mom and sister were like, we want fresh apples. So they're like, oh, great. So I bought <laughs> oh these. God. Yeah. So I bought a bunch of apples. And so I was waiting in line, and there's like an older gentleman behind me. And we just started talking, and like honestly, we've talked about it a ton of times. Like <laughs> that kind, th those kind of discussions don't happen anymore today. But it's crazy. Like you realize when you talk with people, how much more you find out than what you do on the internet. Like he was telling me all about it, the sauerkraut thing. I was like, oh crap. And so then when we drove oh. by the town, I was like, yeah, no, he wasn't bullshitting me. Like it was legit. <laughs> like, and you could tell they had just like one poster. Like it wasn't really like anything huge. You could just tell it's something the townspeople just do, and yeah. they've kind of brought. And they, I think it said it was fifty-one years. Oh. But I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Jeez. But yeah, it's just like something something they do, and it's just kind of like, yeah, we do this. They, you know, they don't. I probably don't want too many outsiders, or um, though the funny, yeah, the funny and kind of geekiest part we saw when we were driving out was there's a lot of people leaving. That town also had a Renaissance event fair thing that happens. It looks oh, like every day. Yeah, so I like think I've never seen. Yeah, that. I don't know what it is about. I don't know if it's 
big everywhere in the world, but I feel like it's mostly here in the U.S. where it's like the yeah. Renaissance stuff is huge for some reason. People get really geek out about it, like, <laughs> and it's like they don't for realize how horrible of a time period it was. But like, yeah, it's like really, really weird. Like you it, know, like it's they just want the turkey legs. I guess that's it. Like... Yeah, turkey legs and the cleavage. Just that's pretty. <laughs> yeah, corsets and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, Show me some leg, lady in a corset. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Um, Just because actually, you won't give your kids their turkey leg at Thanksgiving, this is what we have to have. Exa- this is what happens. Exactly. <laughs> like Ron, Ron Swanson get the turkey leg wrapped in bacon. <laughs> <laughs> they call it a Ron Swanson. <laughs> the way he eats that. Wow. <laughs> the mustache. Wow. <laughs> the chick was like, wow. Right? <laughs> uh, oh, man. Parks and Rec, you can you can learn so much from Parks and Rec, right? There you go, great show. You know what? I I looked up the analytics before, you know, before the podcast. I'm like, I can't believe it. It's like what? Tw- was it since we started the podcast? Okay. It's like almost thirty people, uh, thirty listeners from Germany. I'm like, huh, well, that's interesting. Or Europe, not Germany, Europe in general. Yep. And then I think maybe I don't know. Probably seven people from the U.S., but I think probably four of those were probably me, because I was just like, there I just want to make sure the quality was good. That was really it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then a uh, couple from Australia, which I, I know the one person from Australia, so it's okay. <laughs> so we're all right. Good. So we're we're doing okay. Uh, it's also slow, but it's gaining. It's slow. Yeah, slow, slow and steady. All right. Hey. Wins some races, not all of them. But right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, do you guys want to help out the podcast? We also have the Patreon. Uh, make sure you guys hit in link in the description. It's there. Help it out a little bit. Murph, uh, we, we're still um, a few bucks short of Murph's chair fund. So make sure we uh, help each other out on that. There you go. He has uh, bad sciatica. So we, we got to make sure we get him over the line, help him out. So there <laughs> It's going to be a horrible question. I have no idea what that is. Lower back. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Yes. He's like, yes, I'm hurting. What is this? <laughs> sure, I'll agree to it. Whatever. <laughs> I'll hurt myself. That was fine. One fact. <laughs> spell sciatica. Yeah, right. It's like, damn it. What is this? The national spelling bee? Jeez. C S C X. Damn it. There's a P in there. I don't know. Uh and some uh, you know, other stuff. <laughs> Semicolon. All I heard was Attica. I didn't hear anything else, so ah. that's all I heard. Sciatica uh, and his Attica. There we go. I have been you know what? We're gonna go. Crazy off topic here, but I feel like we're slowing down, so we got to speed back up again. I don't think we've talked about this. Um, yes. I've been getting huge now into the scary movies and all that stuff. What is got your em. favorite scary movie? Ooh, wow! Look at Murph taking initiative. I know, I'm trying. I'm trying to help. Ah, I don't do much here. That's not true. It's true. You provide comedic entertainment. Ah, good. On top of maple syrup. Perfect. I do a lot of that. <laughs> After the podcast, we just go ham on the maple syrup. Canadian bacon. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, no, uh, I've never like for years. I never really cared for horror movies because okay. I was like I was a weird kid that didn't believe that Halloween should be like connected to like oh, ultra yeah. gory. Okay, because I was like oh, it's it just ruins the holiday. Because I I I mean if you grow up in like a smaller town, like you have a different viewpoint of what Halloween should be or like you know the Halloween season. So. But it was like the last couple of years I kind of started getting into it. Uh, I really didn't like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. That scared the crap out of me as a kid. I'm yeah, like, it's Whoa. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll never watch Chucky. That's creepy too. Yeah, Chucky was always weird. Yeah. Uh, I always I was an early fan of Jason. Some of the uh, Freddy vs. Jason was always really good. Gotcha. Uh, and then uh, I think later on got into Halloween. Okay. Movie, which nice. was really good. Yeah. Okay. But I've always been a fan of, um, of uh, at least in the 90s, I'm not sure if you guys remember this, at least some Americans, but they used to have, uh, they would change their whole schedule over. All their like all their shows would all be like Halloween related. I miss Dur- that. During like, I the really month. do. Yeah. I miss that. They like don't do that anymore. I do yeah. miss that Halloween themed of October. Like, I feel like October now is just like normal. And then yeah. like the week of Halloween is when the Halloween stuff comes out and then that's it. Yeah. And it's just, it was weird because it's like it would always be either late September or like the first week of October, and then it's like bam, just Halloween related episodes. Yep. And it was cool because they would take time off of like their original storyline to be yep. like, you know what, let's have something spooky, crazy. Let's just do this. I'm like, oh, sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I think but, the prime example of that would be like community. 
They're really yeah. good. At, they're really good about that. Like yeah. everyday holiday season, it would just they'd like basically be like blip in the storyline to do something that was yeah. holiday themed. Yeah, and they did it really well. Actually, it actually blended in pretty good. So that was See, always cool. Yeah, I I miss that. Yeah, style of format. Yep. Sorry, I got off topic, but not real. I mean, kind of, kind of not really. You know, kind of, kind of went in there. Oh, got, it's spooky got season. Somewhere you know, already, you love it so much. Spooky season. We're trying to fit it all in before it goes <laughs> away. You only got a few more weeks left, so we're like halfway through it already. I so I get I get so so much anxiety during this month because I'm like I got to do so much stuff because I have to get like this is the only time of the year. Most of the year I'm like I'm chill, but this year like this month like I got to do all these things. If I don't get this thing done. Because then I won't have a good Halloween, and then the rest of the year is screw. Jeez, that's my mindset. Yeah, it's but more pressure what, on you. I, literally, <laughs> what's your what's your favorite Halloween movie, good Ooh, sir? All right, good question. Uh, man, just came out out of nowhere. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Why geez, not? Wow. Why not? I really thought about that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I probably I pumpkin cannot go right. Actually, that's a pretty good one. I can't go down the same line as you because. I don't know. Halloween was always a weird one for me. I was always really busy in October, but now that I've gotten older and I have a little more free time, I start watching like all the movies and getting getting into them. Yeah. Um, the Halloween movie is always good. I always feel like that's a classic, like horror movie, but not horror movie psycho <laughs> killer kind of thing. True. Um, I don't, I've always loved Stephen King for some reason. I've like gotten like I watched his his the movies oh, they true, yeah. yeah I watched the movies they made like they made a ton of them in like the eighties and nineties. And I've always just enjoyed them. They're just very. Yeah. I love. I love a good storyline. That's really what I like. So that's what I'm starting to love about Halloween and horror movies. Is actually like the storyline and the history they incorporate into things is like a lot better than normal movies. Oh, now I hate perfect. the. I hate the jump scare, stupid, like yeah. you know whatever. But the storylines and stuff is like I find that stuff creepier than than like the actual horror yeah. movie itself. Like, yeah, it's crazy. It's. But I'd have to probably go. Yeah, I'd probably have to go like. That or um, the It movies. I don't know why I it love them, even though the unfortunately the old one, the second half, you're like that monster's kind of stupid. But like I <laughs> yeah. mean, the It movies, yeah. are, It movies are good. Um, you know, uh, I'm trying to think. Even like it seemed like a crappy movie, but even like Christine about the haunted car, like it sounds stupid. But when we watch it, you're like, oh yeah, it's not bad. Like, it's pretty cool. Like it's just like it's you know, it's just they're just they're cool movies to watch. Like you know, whatever. There, there's a couple like I've watched recent years that kind of. Really kind of got me excited. Was uh oh damn um was it describe the plot uh was it Carrie the old 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 I, yeah Carrie. they made a well they made a bunch of them but just yeah. another good one that popped in my head yeah. yeah like the was it oh she was like a homecoming queen or yeah something that's like it. that and then she goes nuts yep that's I'm, it well they pulled the, a prank on her and she goes nuts she's a telepath or something whatever like, yeah where she can like move things with her mind and do all that stuff yeah yeah it just. Even the original, I watched the original a couple of years ago, and even the the remake, people, you know, purists are gonna be like, I hate the remake, but the uh, remake was pretty damn good. Pretty good, pretty good. So it's, I mean, it's just a good story all around. But the only thing I hate about the original, I don't think we talked about this, it's a lot of weird nudity because these are like girls that are supposed to be in high school. And <laughs> I like, know that's why what are saying. they naked all the time? This is really weird. Like, <laughs> I, I should like, be this, watching this, right? You're like, yeah, you're like, this director should probably be put on a list or something. <laughs> like, like yeah, like I guess there's like even it's like. They're talking about like the Quentin T- Tarantino theory of like he's got a foot fetish, so there's a lot of times like feet we brought into pictures and all that, like it's a damn foot thing, yeah, right? Yeah, back. seriously, yeah, like it was just, but no, but like, <laughs> but like, but like, no, they're saying that like we, we have a carry, like it opens up with girls undressing in a locker room in a high school locker room, oh, and you're yeah. just kind of like, do we really need to like, do we really need to go this far with it? Like, do we really need to start like this? Couldn't you gotten the point across in another way? Yeah, but I don't know, nope. it was weird. Yeah. I it's it's funny Murph made a point uh, about Stephen King movies. It's actually interesting. Um, I never knew this, but a couple, probably up until maybe two years ago, uh, I didn't realize that uh, my hometown was actually filmed in a Stephen King like TV movie uh, called Sometimes They Come Back, which is basically oh. like, uh, I th- oh it's basically like um, a guy moves back to his hometown with his family, and then his his brother was killed like early on in his life and he just just trying to like move away from it and move on but he kind of gets these spirits that kind of come back and visit him and they kind of oh. relive like those old memories and it's actually a really interesting movie and it i think actually they filmed it like right before i was uh i was born so okay. it's like it's kind of weird cuz i see like all these different parts of town like oh damn Used to go there all the time. Used to Didn't go there all the time. I haven't, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, that's. I think that's the unfortunate part, though, is I guess if you're yeah. a Stephen King purist, the There's movies <laughs> are not like Stephen King oh, hates yeah. a lot of the movies compared yeah. to like what he wrote. Well, a lot of times too, like he's usually on set, and he's yeah. like, "Oh, this, this is crap." 
something. Yeah. Do something. I think the you only, just want your money, <laughs> right? I think one of the ones I I heard they said that matched what he wanted was the newest one that came out was like Doctor Sleep or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Where yeah. they said they did a good job tying tying the original Shining with the one that yeah. he wrote. Um, I didn't see it. I want to see it. I haven't seen it's, it yet. It's actually, but I hear it's like really good that way. The people who watched uh, The Shining initially, they, they don't like it at all. Correct. Because like basically it takes all those old like stories and those old um, Stephen King movies that did really yeah. well. And they basically tie everything together in the same universe. Hey, Correct. They did it. It's a That's long it. movie, but it's I liked it. Okay. It's you and I heard Stephen King actually job. liked it. Good. Yeah, I heard I heard he liked it. And I think, too. Like the only one. They took... <laughs> I think they, because to tie it to the movie, they asked his permission, and he like kind of gave them the green light of how to do it, and so they did it really well. So oh, I was like, yeah, I, I was watching. Uh, they do on TV. They do like it's. I think it's called Eli Roth's like History of Horror, or whatever. And I kind of enjoy it. Really does you realize kind of the culture of horror movies like oh, yeah. everywhere. So it kind of to me adds an extra special, um, you know, like twist to some of this stuff. Because sometimes I watch a movie and I'm like. <laughs> Scott, you know what I mean? Like it's, you're just wasting time, but I love kind of cultures behind them and all that kind of stuff. Like it just makes me feel like I wasn't just watching something dumb. Like there's like some real um, finesse and artistry to it. But. There's, it. I think it's this new generation now. So what's going on is I've seen a lot of these movies, Halloween movies that are kind of picking up, and they're they're uh, they're doing a good job now of because I, I think they realize that they're they're. Uh, their demographic, they realize, oh, these guys are not idiots, so we can't just have these characters make stupid, mis- stupid decisions. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, what's going on is they're uh, they're doing a really good job, like asking these authors who originally write, like if it's off a book, they make sure like they they double check, triple yep. check, make sure the story's great. And then one thing that's kind of a I don't know low on the totem pole for a lot of directors that I've noticed is that they don't really. Uh, they don't really set this the setting into like a more of like a fall Halloween yeah. setting too well. Like that's something that it's hard for me to kind of really get into a movie. I'll give you if that. It's supposed to be set in Halloween if it's yeah. not done well enough. And the only ones kind of put me in that Halloween mindset, I guess you could say, would be uh, oh uh, one from a few years back. I think it's Trick or Treat was one. That's a good one. They I did a good one. job. I saw that one. That was a good one. They yeah. did a good job with like the lights it's like a bunch and the of setting. short stories around Halloween time, which was like, yeah, that made a lot of sense. But great, yeah. And uh, that one, and uh, I actually would even argue, uh, oh damn, uh, one of my one of my my underdog favorites that I think people will probably criticize me for is uh, Halloween Three, Season of the Witch, which has nothing to do with uh, Michael Myers. Oh, that but, one, yeah. Is that the one with the masks? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually, if they'd made that do a standalone, it actually would do really, really well. I think it, I it, think maybe, I think what they, the mistake they make, because I remember watching that. Because they, they were trying to get thinking, like a Halloween universe. Yeah, I, I'm starting That's to see what, what you're saying. So I think if they, if they spun off from the Michael Myers, yeah. instead of like, like paying homage to him a lot, I think yeah. it would have helped more because they kept referencing trying to make him. A... Like, where is Michael Myers? <laughs> He's not dead. Like, where is he? He's, like, they really even make it like any sort of uh, yeah. Then they be, try connection it, there. Yeah. Then they try to make it sound like it was the power of his mask, and I was like, okay, now we're getting kind of weird here. Like, you know, <laughs> no, they, like, what they were doing was like they wanted to kind of create like a Marvel universe for like Halloween through Michael Myers. So because like through the essence of Michael Myers through the name Halloween, like, oh, let's just make a. Just make a Halloween universe. I'm like, this is not Nightmare for Christmas. Yeah, chill right. out, <laughs> right? But if that was a standalone, great movie. Yeah. I think it's. I think it would still hold up today if they remade it. Honestly, gotcha. ooh, that's actually a, that brings me to another question. You just brought ooh. up, yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. Do you count that as a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? Oh man, that's yeah. tough. Um, Speaking of which, Tim Burton, guy Tim does Burton pretty good. good. I, I like weird movies, but he does ha- pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, like Halloween is great. Yeah, even um, what was the one? Like I am number eight or something like that, or it was like oh, the yeah, sock yeah, puppets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty good too. Yeah. I remember watching, thinking, "What is this?" But I actually kind of like it. Like you know, yeah, like Edward that Scissorhands. Like yeah, like I heard he's the reason Johnny Depp is pretty much as big as he is now, is because like Tim Burton loved him and just got him super or famous. Hell in the bottom Carter for that matter. Probably yeah. <laughs> but anyway, sorry, we digressed. Um, what do you think? Oh. Of, what do you think it is? That's tough because like. When I was a kid, I never really considered it a Halloween movie. I think it was more of a Christmas movie for me. Okay. And I don't know. I was, I'll tell you what, I was still fascinated. Actually, I named one of my Discord uh, channels under this. I had like a Halloween uh, forest. 
Nice. Or the holiday forest is what it was. Remember because yeah. of all the, the trees that had the doors? Yeah. Listen, you don't understand the stress that I go through because as a kid, I was like, what is through these doors? I need to know. <laughs> all these different like yep. holidays. I'm like, damn, you can do so much with this. Yep. I guess they've already contacted him numerous times about doing something like that where he goes through different. Really? Jack through, Skeleton? Jack Skeleton. Do, go through different doors of those. Oh, to see what like the Easter lamb look like and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I see. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I, that pissed me off as a kid so much because I was like, what? I need to know. No, go through the doors. <laughs> Movies don't give you those answers sometimes. That's how that works. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of consider that more of a Christmas movie. I, I don't know. Go he definitely did. A, he did a good job going. Up. I I could he say I probably well, watch it. Twi- I, forth, I watch yeah. it twice. I will watch it around now. Yeah. and I also will watch it around Christmas. But I think it's I watch more of it like Thanksgiving because it sits yeah, in the middle. <laughs> that's it. Should be honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like yeah, and I know you hate that people do this but i am unfortunately one of those basic people that to me christmas takes the whole month so yeah. like i love watching a different movie or things like that and so uh yeah i will i like watching nightmare before christmas like in the beginning of december as like a yeah. okay goodbye halloween now we're moving on to christmas kind of thing That's, um so but yeah i i think gun to my head if i had to decide i think i consider it a halloween movie over a christmas movie like it's sure. one of those that i'd rather watch in october than december I, i'd rather watch in october as well but yeah I just consider it more of a Christmas. No, movie. I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. It takes. It takes. Like when you try to think of it, and I'm sure if you did, I'm sure people are going to Google this and just like the guy with the Thanksgiving of in Canada. <laughs> but sorry, but uh, he. Uh, sorry, lupus. Yeah, no, I no. It was actually a good point. I love it. It was awesome. <laughs> um, but uh, I think like if maybe you did like a time count for how much time was spent, like in referencing each holiday, Ooh. like it, maybe Christmas would edge it. But I imagine it'd be pretty similar. Like because when you think about it, he spends a good chunk of the middle of the movie doing christmas things but then it's at the end he goes back to halloween and it becomes like a halloween thing again so it's like the 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 like the the tropes the like the of like what it just kind of it, it perfectly balances out you did like a pretty good job of that true but anyway let me, let me ask you then um i'm gonna kind of wait i'm supposed to ask out. the questions here <laughs> <laughs> no um then uh what's your favorite uh Halloween kind of a uh, TV special then. Now this now you can count you can count um TV like movies, you can count um I will you know what I'm going to have like go... TV like sitcom yeah. uh episodes as well. Or you Probably, can do yeah. both. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is tough. This is a tough one. I'm not going to lie. I think I am just unfortunately I'm a gut person so I will go off the first one that pops in my head and then I always end up changing my answer later. But I'll go first one <laughs> pops in my head. Uh American Horror Story. Um, Damn. it got okay. really bad, unfortunately, in the, the other seasons, but I kind of started watching the 1970s and they do a good job paying like homage to like the 70s slasher movies and like, you know, like the, yeah. um, Friday the 13th and all that stuff. Oh. And then like, dude, the first season, the second season, so first season mystery house, I think second season asylum, dude, those, those literally watching those in college. Like those got me to start doing Halloween traditions of somewhat scary movies, like, um, okay. like you know the the circus one. It was good in the beginning, but then it got then unfortunately they got popular. So then they started doing these, stu- <laughs> like, yeah, they started doing these too oh, popular, right? Bless <laughs> you. Um, they started doing these stupid like mid season stops and then restarting. And I am someone that I will bless oh my you. Gosh, I'm allergic to something. Mm. I don't know. I'm good. Um. I just hate how I like it where I would rather it start in August or September and then end in November. But some of these American horror stories were going into like December. And I was like, I don't want to watch this when I'm in yeah. Halloween. Like the only scary, scary Christmas movies I'll watch is like Krampus. And that's because it has a really cool, I, I did some research into it. Obviously the German people know better than I do, but um, really cool backstory and history of that character for the holiday. So that's what I will like. I like, but when you're doing like scary movies and people that like it, good for you. But pe- I'm not a scary movie person in December. December should be more of me That's... like, you know, New Year's are coming, end the year off in a good way, you know, bright, happy, um, <laughs> celebratory things, like, you know, that kind of stuff. Like it's been a long year, like that kind of thing. Uh, but I would, I would probably have to first say American Horror Story and then Halloween Town to be very close behind that. Um, the only reason Halloween Town didn't take it was because I made the mistake of watching it recently. And as much nostalgia and fun I had with it, 
there were times I was like, how the heck did I enjoy it this much as a kid? Like <laughs> some of the humor was really yeah. dry. Like there's all that stuff where I was just like, mm -hmm. unfortunately, a dead space, new man. TV has ruined it. <laughs> but um, I'm going to reverse, reverse that question back damn. to you now. That's uh, man. That's the, like, I, I love Halloween town. It's probably, if you want to account for like TV movies, uh, I would, probably say that's probably that's probably one of my top favorites sure. okay. um just because i mean god what's the first time i think i, I was in high school when i first watched it because I, I didn't have cable growing up so i was like <laughs> oh this is sweet right and then you know that's it's kind of like a i guess a thing to kick off the uh, the holiday season for me uh next to hocus pocus i guess but yeah. um but that's me being the, a kid but uh Fair. honestly as far as like tv uh, episodes for like Halloween wise, uh, man, this is difficult because like I grew up in the TGIF era, so like that was thank God it's Friday, <laughs> yeah, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, God, man, like the, it, it's so hard because like every year, I mean, you had Family Matters, you had um, oh. Step by Step, you had all these shows that just do all these amazing Halloween episodes, but there was something about Man, uh, I want to say it's kind of a tie because they kind of started. I think Roseanne started it, and then Home Improvement. Really, I kind of lean more towards Home Improvement. Okay, when they did their like Halloween episodes, were just so much fun. Their first one was great. The second one's okay. The last one's like, eh. yeah. But okay. um, but they it seemed like those two were always competing against each other. Like, oh, we're gonna outdo you. <laughs> so Roseanne, kind of Home Improvement, kind of tied yeah. for me there. I always enjoy this reference, Roseanne. Do you ever watch the the new kind of one that's like that, the Goldbergs? Oh. A lot of people love oh, it. I've never cool. given it a shot. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I've yeah, never really kind of got into it. Oh, okay, I, I watch I watch the um, the I mean, well, the newish, newish. I guess the only season that Roseanne was on. Okay, so like the newer age one. I, she was. I really liked that. I oh. really loved that that series. Like it was, they were hitting on some some subjects. I think a lot of TV shows were not doing. Gotcha. At all, like okay. on TV, like it yeah. was really good. They, like, they were like the only Not white. Take risks. Yeah, basically, it, it was great. Like they, there was one episode I was really impressed with where they, they just they were still living in the same neighborhood on the same street, and then they noticed like all these people like minorities moving in. So she, Roseanne, felt like a little bit like not comfortable. Right. And they then they find out like uh, next door they had like uh, a Middle Eastern family move in, and so the whole the whole show is this, Dublin. <laughs> I know. Well, they they I'm messing the the whole the whole show is her just being uncomfortable, but then she starts to get to know her neighbor and realizes, yeah. oh, like you're you're actually a really interesting, like you're a nice person, and like kind of like that. That's it's, good. Yeah, it's very like much a, a '90s. How the world's thing. kind of turning. Yeah, yeah. It's a globalization. I guess you can call it. And and there's not like nowadays. There's so many channels that, like and and shows that are just not doing those type of subjects yeah. anymore. Yeah. And like that was I thought it was really well done and. They kind of went into other stuff where Roseanne was having health issues, so she was kind of hooked on uh, on opiates, and and wow. she was trying to like crap, yeah. manage that. Like, I was like, damn, this is great. Yeah, it's like you just I think don't TV see that. was not afraid of that uh, cancer culture. They weren't afraid to tackle those stuff in the oh. day because it was like they even said that about like Mr. Rogers. I didn't realize that, but I think I oh, watched yeah. a documentary on him, and he said that like he tackled the race problem because he would like bring in African American people and like do things with them. Yeah, and like that sounded bad. But like you know, like it was just. But you know what I mean. Like he would like he would do like lessons with them and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And basically, like just treating everyone normally. The, the, and the like, episode yeah, he had, crazy. like where his African American um, uh, postal worker was actually in, actually was in the same like little yeah, pool. yeah, the kiddie pool, the bathing their feet together. Yeah, that was a symbol at the time that society where people were like you couldn't be in the same place. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and yeah. so he was like, oh, the hell with that. I did right. my own thing. Right. It's impressive. Yeah. You don't see that. Now people are too afraid to take stances now. Yeah, they really are. It's it's, Cause it's unfortunate because there's so many niche groups that can. Unfortunately, it seems like nowadays we have to pander to everyone. Yeah. So it's just one of the if you don't you pander get, to a single to a certain niche group, that group can get you canceled. It's like it's crazy. It's like you get caught once and then you're yeah. done. Yeah, but yeah, that's. Man, what a time! No wow, room for error. what a turn! What a, right? That, that's we always as the world turns. We always seem to get dark. Our conversation always seems to get dark at some point. Talk you about, Murph and your dark arts. I know, today. right? Exactly. <laughs> Abracadabra. Uh, oh jeez. Oh <laughs> uh, jeez. And uh, wow, Chiefs just won. So hey, that's wow, great. by a lot too. All right. Oh my God. Wow. Well, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. Right. 
Probably just 18 points. Probably just, uh, you know, drink a little bit and be happy. There you go. That's Enjoy it. Enjoy your Sunday. <laughs> happy Sunday. <laughs> Man, what a incredible time. Oh, right. I, uh, but yeah, it's, it'll be interesting. I, I think, uh, I know some of you guys have been kind of been asking me a little bit about coaching this year, and I know um, it's going to be an interesting landscape going forward this year. Cause they got, like I, I said to you guys before, the beginning of the podcast, we got a brand new team in Istanbul, Turkey, the Istanbul Istanbul oh. Rams. Interesting. Yes. Don't what? Uh, actually, I should make that comment because I don't know. I haven't done my full research <laughs> on it. I read <laughs> what I, is it? I read about it and I tried to remember it, and then I forgot what? it a little bit. Who? There was something about it was talking about the um, croissant that it wasn't. I don't think it's actually invented by the French. I thought they said it might have been invented by the Germans or somebody. Oh. And what it was is um, it was right after the Ottoman Empire was defeated. Their their flag was still the crescent moon, so the oh. croissant was put in that shape for the crescent moon. So you basically are eating the enemy. Oh, that's that's really dark. Yeah, I know. Part of <laughs> I know part I know part of that I'm correct about, and there's about the big stuff I'm wrong about. So the 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 shape I know I'm I'm right about. The origin country I know is not France, but I thought it said Germany, but I'm not sure. C R E A. There you go. Chris. Just do pastry. Croissants, pastry. Origin. Origin. All right. Yeah, dude. You never Googled before? I don't use the word origin. No. Oh. Oh, place of origin, Austria. Ah. All right. So I was close. But yes, um, I am off. I shouldn't say I was close. I know Austria isn't Germany. but Everybody they, just yell they at for that but they bullshit do, story. They you do just reference. Told. Well, I don't know. I'm, no, like most of it is right. Like, look, yeah. you like, click that first answer. Let's see. It's like. Because became the French, the moment people began to make it puff pastry, French innovation. It's oh. fully taken root in its adopted land, or oh, whatever. It's, All right, never mind. Maybe I'm completely wrong. All right, I, I read something that said that. So the problem is that's the Smithsonian. So they're, I'm not going to fight them on that. They'll know better than I did. But <laughs> join Murph's um, <laughs> protest in front of Smithsonian, about, right? Yeah. About the origins of no, I actually wanted to. I actually <laughs> wanted to work for them for a little bit. I thought about it after I graduated with my history major. I was like, that'd be kind of cool. But then I realized, like, reveal the croissant's real right. origins. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to have no, to ask you what, to leave. It's what happens when you read something on the internet and do no research like <laughs> I do. But, yeah. <laughs> was it Wikipedia? I mean, I can see that, like, maybe they, they use that yeah. in some shape or form and tell, like, the military troops to kind of help boost morale, maybe. 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 Yeah, well, anyway. It's, it's incredible. But, yeah, um, <laughs> got a little off topic. There but um, with the league adding a new team in uh, Istanbul, Tur- Istanbul, Turkey, they – there's still been talks, and I've been getting a lot of questions on this, but there's been talks about new teams in uh, London, but there's been a lot of issues there from some people I've been talking to. They said how uh, basically London's having some issues with Brexit and a few other things, uh, logistical issues there. So um, I'm still waiting to hear from Amsterdam. Maybe a team in Paris or somewhere in France at least. So I think those are kind of the two. The two targets for this year, which it's going to be, I mean, the amount of openings this year, it's going to be crazy. There's going to be so much and, and so much like interest in this brand new league. And you got just amount of players that are going to be interested in this new league. It's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. But I think uh, coming, going forward, it's, it's this year is, I think the GFL should watch out. I'm just saying. Oh man, calling out the GFL. <laughs> but uh, meanwhile, my old team, Paderborn Dolphins, they they uh, they doing good. They are going to the I don't even know how they do this, the promotion playoff. So they're like the second round. Okay. I think next. How many week, rounds? I think there's only two rounds. So basically, it's okay. like at two rounds, I think the, the top two teams. I don't know how to structure this because they have like the South playoffs and you have the North yeah. playoffs. So okay. they're battling for the North. Which I believe the, they're playing. So it's like AFC and NFC. Yeah, because how they they because they have room for GFL two. Or gotcha. GFL two is split into two for North and South. Okay. So I think they're battling for for the northern part, and they're but they're gonna go up against uh, I believe Hildesheim Invaders. 
which used to be a GFO one team before. Oh, okay. All gotcha. but, oh so they're yeah, kind of the underdog then. <sighs> yeah, it, they've been having a great year. I wish them luck. All right, no ill defense. Will. I hope you. No, honestly, I have no ill wills towards Paderborn. <laughs> I, I loved my time in Paderborn. It was fantastic. I love the people. I love the city. It was just wonderful. But I uh, sometimes you just got to move on. That's fair. And close gotta, that chapter. Move on to another one. Yeah, in order to grow as a coach, you just got to go to somewhere else and just, you know, kind of get your roots and then build from there. There you go. And, and then kinda... you show them how good you were. <laughs> then the next it's, time you play it's... Paderborn, you beat the shit out of them. <laughs> it's, a, it's really not like a salty thing. Usually I am no, a, no, yeah, a, yeah. somewhat like oh, a so salty. salty guy sometimes with some teams, but <laughs> really there's no ill wills, oh, you know, that's good. between them. We good. Cool. You feel me, dog? Amicable we'll, we'll breakup. Amicable we'll breakup. <laughs> Amicable. We'll just just to be friends that's it there you go exactly <laughs> but anything else murph anything else hmm. nothing uh, i mean I've already, I've already yeah i've already miss misspoke a historical fact so we got that out the gate <laughs> that's towards about, the end of the gate you know right <laughs> <laughs> you waited a whole damn podcast for that fake right? story <laughs> exactly whole damn podcast you know that's what keeps them coming so it keeps into the end of the end of it. You just tease it, be like, "Hey, Murph, with a random, horrible, not even right historical <laughs> fact. Please don't Google it or check into nope, it. No, 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 don't Google yeah, it. It's yeah, right. No, yeah, you know, I said yeah, it. It's, yeah, his, his major is only in uh, his major is only in history. It's a he didn't get not, his masters not, or anything. Not food history, just yeah, history. Just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's not food history. <laughs> you chill out, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> right, exactly. No, I guess um, I think. Did we talk about your last podcast? The NHL season's kind of finally officially kicked off, so that's uh, you know. I mean, yeah, you mentioned stay it, tuned. But yeah, but you, how did your brother do? Scored, he scored a goal in his first game, which was awesome, bro. That, um, I saw that little clink on the right. Side it was, oh, it was sweet. Bing. Unfortunately, they lost. Uh, I don't Damn. think they've won, so they're zero and three right now. Oh, I don't know. I think they're zero two and one. So I think they tied a game but lost in overtime, and then they lost two games. Damn. Uh, but what their home happening? opener is Tuesday, I believe. So that'll be exciting. I will, unfortunately will not be there, um, <laughs> but uh, that's exciting. Um, Give some love to Connor Murphy. There you go. Exactly. On my dad's end with the Rangers, they are. Oh yeah, how they're doing? I think they're one one one. So I think they lost. They lost one in OT. Oh. They won last night, and then they lost. I think their first game. So they're doing okay. They're looking okay. The problem is, is like Galant doing Galant things. Right. Exactly. The problem is, it's a, I mean, you know, it's like a. 82 game season or something like that so yeah. it's like first i mean the first two weeks are pretty big to kind of see you know to kind of <laughs> set you off on how you're going to do but like you have so many games that's just kind of like you know oh well like you can make up for it so oh yeah um it's... you know there's growing pains with new coaching and of course with the blackhawks it's a lot of new players yeah um but uh you know we'll we'll, we'll see i guess you know we'll just the the more and more if we keep doing more and more of these podcasts we'll just see as the as the year goes on it's how the, my uh, language changes <laughs> oh, and God. my body structure and all that <laughs> stuff you know I start letting myself go I don't know <laughs> you know just kind of just kind of crazy things but we'll send, see send some McLovin to Connor Murphy's way maybe he'll, he'll start getting some W's <laughs> he did get the A so he's an assistant um, only yeah, thing well I know right the only thing that's weird though is it's only on the road so he does not get it for home games what yeah. It's a weird thing they're doing. It's Why? unfortunately, fortunately, letters they are partially about leadership. They're also partially about ticket sales. So I think the guy that's going to oh. get the A for home games is a better player than Connor. So it's like, oh, better ticket Who's sales. It? Um, his name's Debrinket. Oh. He's a good time forward. So of course, Jonathan Taves has the captain. Great, great player. Great leader makes complete sense. Yeah. Um, I think Patrick Kane has one of the um, A's. We like again. Great forward. They call him Showtime for a reason. Like, guys, guys, a Hall of Famer. He's a stud. Um, and then my brother gets it on the road. Debrinket gets it at home. And I think that's it. So confusing. Um, yeah. So <laughs> it is hockey. Hockey likes to do that sometimes. Um, well, must put it in your contract or something. Yeah. But, but yeah. Other than that, no. That's really kind of all about it. I mean, it's it was a short one, unfortunately. Can't go forever today, but uh, oh, that's fine. that's pretty much no. As long as we hit an hour, all uh, right. That's that's pretty much uh, an hour. We're good, right? That's pretty much no. That's pretty much all the all the things. I guess if anyone is wondering, I guess that's why it's kind of a shorter one today. I have to run off to my own adult league, yeah. league hockey. So um, Zach's like, "Yo, our viewers really want to hear your lovely voice, Tyler." And I was like, "I mean, okay, <laughs> fine." 
and <laughs> so yeah so don't i gotta worry i'm it, here exactly so no so we just quickly kind of yeah, kind of jumped this in before i had to run off which yeah, is unfortunately yeah. getting dangerously close so, oh damn yeah unfortunately oh as always guys make sure you guys uh you know <laughs> like the podcast please do give it a review on apple or wherever Keep you asking can. Zach these German football questions. I love sitting and listening to him rant about German football. <laughs> yeah, Murph's like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't weigh in no, on this. Yeah, no, I can't okay. weigh in on it. <laughs> exactly. Keep them quiet. I'm joking. Right. Uh, as always, guys, uh, if you guys are also on YouTube, make sure you guys leave some comments. We'd love to answer some more questions. It would be awesome. And, uh, yeah. and Help yeah. give us content. Yeah, all yeah. the content. And should, we also... we, should we roll reversal? Oh, no, no, continue. What, who? who? Oh, never mind. You were about to say something. Oh, roll, roll, roll reverse what? Just say your thing, and then maybe we'll do it. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. I just I just ruined that, didn't I? I don't know what you're trying oh. to set up. I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say. Um, say bye, Zach. <laughs> just like you do to me. That doesn't work with me because I'm like, what? No. <laughs> say bye, Murph. Yeah. Bye, Murph. <laughs>